Welcome to SCTV News. This is Nuri Alamin with the headlines. Women of the country to be imbibed with the Bangamata's ideology, said Prime Minister, echoes father to the five women. Shipping Ministry rejects proposal of the launch owners to double the existing fare formed a committee. First Indian ship reaches the Mongla seaport today under the transshipment of goods to the northeast. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Monday said Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was fortunate enough to have Bangamata Begum Fazilatun Nesa Mujib as his life partner, who provided him immense strength to work for the independence of the country and welfare of the people as well. The Premier expressed this while talking in the program held to mark the birth anniversary of the Bangamata Begum Fazilatun Nesa Mujib. She also distributed Bangamata Begum Fazilatun Nesa Mujib Padok 2022 at the function. Sheikh Hasina said it would have been a very tough for the Bangabandhu to walk for the country and give full concentration in the politics had had not been seen the blessed with a life partner like her mother. The Prime Minister said that her mother had been gifted with an unusual mental strength to face any problem with courage and adjust her life with the difficult situation. Hasina also said that the political decisions that her mother had made proved helpful for the country's independence movement. Sheikh Hasina also asked the women for the country to be imbibed with Bangamata's ideology that teaches that desire, pleasure and luxury should not be only purpose of the one's life. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Monday distributed Bangamata Begum Fazilatun Nasa Mujib on the 2022 to the five distinguished women for the outstanding contributions to the various fields marking the 92nd birth anniversary of the majestic women and wife of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. She virtually joined the award distribution ceremony as the chief guest from her official Ganavavan residence. The program was at the Usmani Memorial Auditorium on behalf of the Prime Minister, State Minister for the Women and Children Affairs, Fazilatun Nasa Mujib Indira handed over the Padog. Five women who received the Padog, the highest state honor for the women are Sayyidah Zibun Nasa Hawk in the politics, lawmaker Salim Ahmed in economics, Dhaka University's former pro vice chancellor Nasrin Ahmed in education, Ms. Ashia Alum in the social service, and the valiant freedom fighter Ashalata Buddha in independence and liberation war. Each of the recipients got a medal made from the 40 gram of 18 karat gold, a check of the Dhaka for luck, and a certificate of the honor. The shipping ministry has rejected the proposal of the launch owner to double the existing launch fare citing recent fuel price hike. Shipping Secretary Mustafa Kamal said at a press conference at the Secretariat today, he also said that they have formed a seven-member committee and asked to submit a report reviewing the situation. The ministry will issue a gazette on the 10 August regarding the new fares following recent fuel price hike, he also added. However, passengers will continue to be charged the existing fare until the further notice. Launch owner proposed to increase the launch fare to Dhaka 4.6 percent and the kilometer from the Dhaka 2.3 to the first 100 kilometer, and hike the fare to Dhaka 4 from Dhaka 2 per kilometer for the distance above the 100 kilometers. On August 5, the government increased the fuel oil prices. A Supreme Court lawyer today filed a read petition with the High Court challenging the legality of the government decision to increase the prices of the petroleum product. Advocate Muhammad Yunus Ali Akhund submitted the petition as the public interest litigation to the High Court seeking stay on the cancellation of them, the government notification, hiking prices of the fuel product. The High Court may hold hearing on the petition within a few days. On August 5, the government raised the price of the diesel any kerosene by the 42.5% and petrol and the octane by the 51.1% and 57.1% respectively. Ratan Hussain, the mastermind of the robbery and rape of the moving bus in Tangail, committed on August 3rd, 
had been working as the bus helper and collecting information to lead bus reveries since 2018. The 21-year-old yacht has committed at least 10 reveries during only the last six months. In British Adrian, the first ship under the trial round of the transshipment of the Indian goats to its northeastern state reached Mongla Seaport of the Bangladesh today.